You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Mel Science for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another Mel Chemistry Science experiment for you today. I do want to say thanks to them for sending me another month's worth of science experiments. Now there's a total of four experiments in there and you could do some of them multiple times so there's plenty to experiment with. It's for ages 12 plus. Now this is actually video two for this set of experiments. So I'll put a link in the description so you can watch video one. Today I am going to do this one here, this sparkler thing, which is gonna require me lighting something. So when I come back, we'll learn more about this experiment. All right, so this is usually wrapped in plastic. Now let me just show you, you take this off. Now there is information on the back, which you should always look at because you'll need to prepare in advance some items. And then here is what comes out of the big starter kit. Remember the big box that was in the background? And here's everything in this kit, which lets you do these two experiments. Now I've done Egyptian Night. That was really cool where the two chemicals combined to make a really dark black liquid. And now I'm gonna do the iron sparkle. So 25 minutes total. And then when you open it up, now I've already been in this one, so some things have changed. They give you the little cards that come with each experiment. You also have a little scan there. You can scan that, and then that will actually um, give you the directions, but you also have them right here. So, and then they give you another sheet with directions. Look at that. So you have plenty of places to get the information you need to do the experiments. So now what you do is you go in your little kit, you see this one has two packs of this, so that means you can do this experiment twice. You pull out what you need. I'm gonna need that, I'm gonna need that. Kinda just by looking at the pictures, you're gonna need one of these discs down here. Oh, that's cool. They give you little stickers that you can keep. Okay, so I'll need that. And then it looks like I need the tweezers. They even give you the special tweezers. I don't think I need anything else for measuring spoons or anything. And then the rest, oh, foil. Let me move it on this side. I keep reaching over you. Sorry about that. So a sheet of foil. This, this, this. It looks like I have everything. If not, I will double check. And now when I come back, we'll take everything I need out of the starter kit and get started. All right, so the gloves I had off to the side from another experiment. And then I did need one little vial. Looks like I just need one that I'm going to use. Now here is the bigger starter kit. Remember we showed that way back when. Actually, I'll put a link to this video. So you'll need the tray. And then I'll need the little top piece, I think, for the fireplace. We'll see. I mean fireplace for the little burner. And then I need the actual little stove. This should open up. There we go. Okay. And then it looks like it's going to go this way. And then I got to get this on top okay that's set and then i think that's really it there's nothing else in here oh very important your safety goggles okay so i think that's all i need so now when i come back we'll do this experiment okay here we go a couple things i realize now that i needed the paintbrush out of there as well so i wasn't as accurate as i thought when i was grabbing items but that's why it's important to kind of look over everything make sure you have what you need scissors which i got here let me get my goggles on all right so step one is to actually i can get this set here this goes here this is going to go here let me get the wick ready so i'll be lighting that then putting this on and then that on top of that all right so in the vial they want these two mix and it says the entire contents oh yeah you're going to need a lighting utensil, and then you're also going to need safety water on the side. I'm gonna to to keep my little fire extinguisher. This way it's ready to go. All right, here we go. So this probably doesn't have any kind of safety top. It does not, so you just pour it in all. Empty the bottle, it says, into this. Here we go. Make sure we got it all. Yes. Okay. And then the second one, it says the CA NO32 
calcium nitrate, pour all the contents out. Okay. Oh, now all these bottles have little cotton stoppers in them. So you need to pop that out with the paper clip they provide. Okay, here we go. So it's making like a nice black liquid. All right. Close tightly and shake. Okay. Now I have a protector down here as well. That's kind of what I'm sliding on. So let me shake it and then cut this in half. Make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom. There's a little bit down there. Come on. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Here, well, let me just do this. Let me make sure I get half. Okay, now paint this on to that, okay? And then roll it up. Here we go. I wonder if I could paint a couple. I don't know. We'll see how much is left. So being wet, it should roll up pretty good. Yeah, it looks like there's enough maybe to do another one, but I'll hold it. We'll see. Okay. Now, put this, close this up. Now, you don't want to leave these just laying around open. Now, they show it rolling up this way. Let's see. Oh, with gloves on. Yeah, that's going to not be easy. So look, so that's the length of it. Roll up the paper, it says. Okay, there you go. Now it says, take off protective gloves. Oh, good. Light it and then put the cover and the foil on and then leave the roll to dry. So we will see, here we go. that catch up a little bit here. It's not wanting to stay lit. Let me get in a little bit better here. Let me bring this down so we can see everything going on here. It's always good to adjust the lighting. Okay, let's see. Okay, so yeah, it's lit pretty good. Set this on. And put this on it. Okay, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'll record it. I'll turn off the sound. And then I will keep checking back. Maybe as it changes color. It doesn't really say, so I'll just let the video record. How's that? Okay, it does say... 10 minutes I didn't see that originally and then as you can see I made a few more so I've been kind of twisting them and turning them and moving them around and it does feel like here let me grab one of these the first one let's see yeah it's feeling like it's gonna be dry all right so I'll, hasn't been a full 10 minutes so I'll just keep rotating my little sparklers 
been trying to it's hard to this is a definitely a little harder to use because you want to and let me get the ends drying and I will keep checking back after 10 minutes okay it has been 10 minutes and you can tell they have totally changed colors now they want to remove this now they show you lighting from the candle but I'm not gonna touch that metal base and then they show you clamping one on with this this thing has a little ring on it so here we go so that should tighten it up so then you don't have to worry about your hands okay look at that so now that is ready to go all right so I'm gonna light this one here I'll just adjust the camera lighting down a little I've got three so I can experiment a little and we'll see what happens here we go oh cool I made a sparkler That's working pretty good. Actually, when I tilt it down, it works the best because now it's traveling up. All right, that is neat. I'm glad I made three. It smells like a sparkle that you do with the 4th of July. It smells just like it. Oh, it just went out. All right, I'll tell you what. Now that we know it's working good, let me reset this up. Turn off some of the lights, and then we can watch it sparkle in the dark. All right, here we go. Much more muted lighting. I'll be able to turn off the lights in just a second here. Let me see if it's better with the lighter here. That is so cool. There, now I'm really lighting it. Seems to work best when it's there. It's got direct flame. Well, let's just keep it there because that is cool. I tell you what, let me turn off that other light. Well, that one worked really good. I'm going to move this to the end so I can get a little bit darker. See that? And I'll try to set up another one here. I'm going to come right back, set up another one, and just do this like this. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I bet a lot has to do with how tight it is wound up. Just like if you're starting a campfire with a rolled newspaper. There we go. Oh, my, oh, no, it's still going. All right, now let me try this with this little less light and just a lighter. Okay. I'll just use this. 
This will be the way. All right, that one's almost out. I think I'll save the third one because we know it works really good. And I'll come back. I'll let you look at all the little particles and wrap it up. It's still fizzing. Look at that. So cool. Okay, look at that. That is really cool. Now, I still have one which I'll save. I'm sure you know why I'm going to save that. I want to do that with the kids and then probably... This is an experiment worthy of doing again, but then there was still more on there. So as I wrap it up, say thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Petty Shop. I really appreciate it. Hope you like these experiments. I'll have links in the description to all the experiments I have done. Look at the candle. It's covered in it. If you can give the video a thumbs up, I'd truly appreciate it. If you could, oh, it just went out. If you can share this on social media, if you see me doing a call out there, that would be really great. Let's see if we can get that going. Wrap it up one more time. And as always, thanks for watching. One more little spark. One more. There you go. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.